This is Eric from Packhacker, and today we're taking a look at the Slimfold Passport Wallet, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. Let's dive in. So this, just like every other Slimfold wallet that we have come across so far, is crafted from their soft shell material. So it really doesn't look durable, but I promise you that it is. And once you get it in your hand, you can kind of see that it is. And once you use it, you'll really be able to understand how durable this material is. It's a, they call it a combination of Gore-Tex and Kevlar. I don't think it's actually a combination of those materials, but just like in put them putting it in terms that people who don't understand materials can understand. And I really do understand what they're saying when they say the dumbed down version. It's very durable, still very lightweight, and also very water resistant. So this does very well with water for a material that looks and feels like this. It's very soft, feels comfortable in your hand. So you do get some RFID protection from this thing. Um, we don't have a way to test RF RFID protection, but I did test it with NFC um, using my phone, and it did block those NFC um, radio waves, or you can tell how knowledgeable I am of that. Um, by how I'm talking about it, but it did block that when I tested it. So that is a solid feature. But moving to the inside, you can see we have magnets here that close this wallet and they're pretty strong magnets because I have a lot of stuff on here and it's still holding it closed. So the more stuff you have inside of here, it's not gonna be as tight of a closure, but even now I'm happy with this. It's not really gonna pop open super easily and it comes back pretty easily as well. So opening it up here, we have four different card slots on this side. You can pretty easily fit two cards in each and that's thicker cards. I purposely picked thicker plastic cards to show that you can fit bigger cards in here. So one thing to say is there are two pockets on each side, but you, they're all kind of, they're all using the same space. So they stack to the same height. So it's not like fanned or anything like that. So you kind of have to go through to get the cards that you want. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't even know what that is, eight. Um, so thicker cards, they all fit in there pretty easily and just a very simple design. Behind there, we have a little pocket here and that's where I've got cash stowed. So I have a bunch of different currencies in here right now to, to just kind of show that you can fit a bunch of different currencies and it does not poke out of the top. You do have to fold, you can't leave it open. It's too big for that, um, but just one fold or you can go another fold and you could put it in one of these pockets if you wanted to. So in the middle here, we do have a little pen that comes with the wallet. So you can write stuff down if you want to, or like take notes, jot, do little pictures, whatever you wanna do. And the main reason I think that's nice is, I mean, when you're traveling, it's nice to have a pen, but if you're not traveling, as you can see, this is not a passport. This came with the wallet, just a little notebook. So you can have a notebook inside of here um, to take, you know, write your grocery list down, do whatever, write directions down, take someone's number down, and just use this as a regular ADC wallet. And then when you're traveling, replace this for a passport or leave this in here because you could also put a passport over here on this side and it still closes. So in theory, you could put two passports in here. It does get pretty tight when you're doing that, but you can do it if you want to. And then one of the nice things about this actual passport side over here is that you can kind of fold it open to like where your picture and stuff is. So when you're using it as identification, uh, you can just pop open your wallet and show it to use as an ID. Obviously, when you get to the airport, you're going to have to take it out, which is very quick and hand it to the um, security person. But just a very nice design, I think, and just works a lot better than other passport wallets that I've tested. So also on this side, we have places for a tracker. So this is a little credit card size tracker that fits in this pocket here. So if you don't want to use this as a credit card size tracker, you can put additional cards over here if you want to. So you don't need to use it for that. I think I just grabbed too many cards there. I got a little bit too excited. And of course, I'm showing you something on camera live, so it did not go as smoothly as I wanted it to, but it works. And then on the back side here, we have a little AirTag pocket. So if you have an AirTag, you can use that. Um, you can also use a credit card size tracker if you have one of those. And they don't really make the wallet feel weird because these materials are super lightweight. You can see the magnets are working well there now. You think that these trackers would kind of add a lot of bulk, but they didn't really do that. And just overall very happy with how this is designed. I think the design is what makes this wallet work as well as it does. They've done a great job doing that. And they make these in California, which is pretty cool too. If you are finding this video helpful, make sure you throw a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can continue making content like this to help you travel smarter. So when it comes to packability, I mean, this is a passport wallet, so it's going to be a little bit bigger. And I'm still very happy with the size of it because it's really just about the size of a passport. So this is passport size. And as you can see, it just barely overlaps on two of the sides. Like I can still, I mean, I know I, I wear bigger pants normally and have bigger pockets, but I can front pocket this with no problem. Like it, I mean, it looks like I have a wallet in my pocket, but I can fit a passport wallet with two trackers. You probably won't need two trackers, two trackers, two passports, cash and cards 
in your pocket and it's not super bulky, which is not something I've had experience with in the past. So just to get into the nitty gritty, the dimensions are 3.5.375 by 4.1 by 0.375 inches, and that's 2.6 ounces or 73.7 grams. So overall, just very lightweight, pretty small for a passport wallet. And something that some people might not like is how malleable it is, but I kind of like that because it just fits where I need it to fit, especially when I'm just using it as a standard wallet. Obviously I have the pen in there right now, so that's not going to bend, but overall very happy with the size of this thing, especially for a passport wallet. So a wallet has a somewhat similar design is the Pioneer Passport Wallet. As you can see, when you just compare the footprints right next to each other, they're a pretty similar footprint, but this one has a lot more uh, just gusto. It's much wider, doesn't have those magnets to keep it closed, and the materials are just really thick, so it's not gonna be as malleable as the Slimfold Wallet is. But if you're looking for something that isn't malleable, the Pioneer is probably the way to go. Um, I think that the interior design on the Slimfold is better. I mean, even the magnets alone, I really like, but you just have a lot more going on inside of here. Um, and it's also smaller, so you get more for a smaller size. So you have those two dedicated tracker pockets in the pen. Um, obviously you have place for passports in both of these. You really can only fit one in like comfortably inside of this one because you, you can't put a passport on this side. You can only put a passport on this side here. Um, so you have two card slots here. So only two card slots, but they're much thicker. So you probably can fit more overall cards inside of this one. And then over here, just a big open area. You can put cash or whatever. And if you want to have a tracker, you have to use one of like the card slots. Not really a good spot for an AirTag if you wanted to put it in there. Um, you could put the tracker on this side as well. It just depends how you're going to organize it and what else you're bringing. But when it comes down to it, if you're looking for something that's more durable and more structured, go with this one. But if you do choose that, it's gonna be much bigger in your pocket. I wouldn't front pocket this one, whereas I would front pocket this one just because of the depth, uh, you know, just a lot less depth and just fits into your pocket a little bit better and isn't as like pointy on the corners. I really like the slim fold just because of all of those little details that I mentioned, you know, just the ability to do two passports, two trackers, and then all of your daily wallet stuff and then still fit in your front pocket is huge for me. But I understand that some people, if you're not gonna be carrying your wallet all the time, you might want that extra durability, extra water resistance, and just a little bit more structure. So there you have it, the slim fold passport wallet. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your graduate to travel. We'll see you in the next one.